Hello everyone. Today we have this flight statement from stability and static stability of an aircraft. We are to choose the one that is true or false from this particular statement. Now let's read through them one by one. One, direction stability is independent from lateral and longitudinal motion. Once again, directional stability is independent from the lateral and longitudinal motion. Direction stability is always dependent, not independent. So therefore, this is false statement because directional stability is always dependent on the lateral and longitudinal motion. This is false. Two, propeller-driven aircraft can stay airborne for longer at air altitude. Once again, a propeller-driven aircraft can stay airborne for longer at high altitude. This is false. A propeller-driven aircraft cannot stay airborne for longer, like the jet aircraft. So this is false. The fuel consumption of a jet propeller aircraft at distant flow is minimal at flight velocity associated with minimum drag. Once again, the fuel consumption jet propelled aircraft per distance x minima at the flight velocity associated with minimum drag. This is false because the fuel consumption of jet propel aircraft by this time is not minima at the flight velocity associated with minimum drag. Four, a longitudinal static, a longitudinal static stability requires that the center of gravity of a classically configured aircraft is located behind the neutral point. Once again, a longitudinal static stability requires that the center of gravity of a classically configured aircraft is located behind the neutral point. This is false. Because the center the center of gravity CG for the longitudinal stability is always located before the neutral point. So therefore, this is false. Number five. The runway length for takeoff is approximately proportional to the air weight, air, aircraft weight. Once again, the runway length for takeoff is approximately proportional to the aircraft weight. 
this is false because raw wavelength is always dependent to one density of the air to the pressure of the of the runway and the direction of the takeoff so runway length is not dependent on the aircraft weight so this is false Thank you for staying tuned.